Hi everybody, this is Barbara Drazga, aka The Deal Diva, and today we're going to talk about how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon, a topic that I know all of you guys are interested in. So if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button down on YouTube. Find me on uh, Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash Deal Diva, D-E-A-L-D-I-V-A. Again, I'm Barbara Drazga, and today we are here with Bradley Sutton, the success manager, I love that title, of Helium 10. So fancy, huh? I know, right? If you guys, Very 2019. <laughs> success manager, I like that. Got to have a t-shirt made with that. Um, so if you guys have been on the Amazon space and in the Facebook groups for any length of time, I know you have seen mention of Helium 10 and probably wondered what the heck is it. So just in a nutshell, and then I'm going to toss it over to Bradley because we're going to do a live demo today of finding products. You guys know I like to give a lot of value in these webinars. So I'm just going to hand the screen over to him and let him show you how to find products on Amazon. So it's basically uh, a lot of us sellers have trouble finding accurate data with all these tools out there. We're not really sure if the data we're getting back is what it is, right? Well, Helium 10 has got a reputation for having some of the most accurate data um, for an Amazon seller tool. And it's basically it's an all-in-one tool suite for Amazon sellers. But today we're going to focus on product research. And with that, I'm going to toss it over to you, Bradley. Thank you for being here with me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. So um, as, as uh, Barbara mentioned, a lot of people are wondering, well, you know, so, some people say, wait a minute, you know, private label, uh, did I miss the bandwagon? You know, like, isn't Amazon too competitive now? Like it's too saturated. Uh, it's impossible to find. No, well, the answer is no. There's still opportunity out there. It's just a matter of finding it. And, and one mistake that, that some sellers make is um, traditionally, uh, entrepreneurs are, are told that, hey, you need to, um, you need to f do something that you're passionate about, uh, all right? So, uh, why is that not a good way to do an Amazon? Well, just because you're passionate about something, then, uh, we lost your video there, Barbara, is that okay? Yeah, we're good. I just wanted to okay. give you, I wanted to give you front and center. Oh, okay. All right. Me, me, the now all the spotlights on me. I'm not sharing the spotlight. That's, That's all right. I'm just, I'm all right. So anyways, where was I? Okay. No, it's so, all yours. Go. I'm still here. I just muted out. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, passionate, you know, like let's say I'm passionate about phone cases. Like I love phone cases. You know, I have 20,000 phone cases and I'm an expert. Well, uh, that doesn't mean that you're going to be successful on Amazon selling phone cases because actually phone cases is one of the most saturated markets. So the whole uh, way that you're going to be able to find opportunity if you want to manufacture your own products is looking, first of all, where there is demand, but where the competition is uh, not as strong or where there's still opportunity. So if you were just blindly searching on Amazon, it would be near impossible to do that. You would just have to come up with all these searches in your mind, right? Uh, and then just start looking for them one by one. Um, and then what's going to happen is you're looking for these one by one and still you might be stuck because you don't know, you know, how much sales, you know, you don't even have an estimate of how many sales somebody might be making. So you don't know exactly, you know, is this an opportunity or not? So that's where Helium 10 comes in. So I'm just going to show you a couple quick ways, uh, you know, product research is something that should take you, you know, maybe five, six, seven hours where you're just doing what I'm about to show you in, you know, 15 minutes or so. But I want to at least get you guys uh, in the, the correct mindset of what to look for on Amazon and at the same time get you uh, started on a couple of techniques that you could use in order to find these niches, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. If I can find the screen, hold on. Let me move this over and you guys are going to be able to uh, see my Amazon screen here in a second or my Helium 10 screen. There we go. All right, so now you should have a uh, Helium 10 up right here, okay? So the, the tool that I, uh, we use for product research, the, the first one, the first step of it is Black Box, all right? Black Box is Amazon's uh, premier, uh, or the, pr the premier Amazon product research tool pretty much in the world. Uh, we have over 450 million products in our database, right? 450 million, that is more than anything other database other than Amazon itself, you know, that has that many uh, Amazon products. So basically if it's out there, um, we are going uh, to just show it to you, all right? So now, what is the thought process or what is um, the main way that you should be looking for opportunity? Well, again, you're looking for something that's already selling. You know, there's got to be existing demand. Amazon is about existing demand. Amazon is not like a Kickstarter where you can have some new invention and just put it up on Amazon and be successful. Why not? Because 
people search on Amazon, all right? And if, if it's a new invention that nobody knows about, they're not searching for it. So you could have the best invention in the world and you won't get sales on Amazon most likely unless you have, you know, some outside campaign going on because people are not searching for it, all right? So uh, what I want to do, um, Barbara, go ahead and unmute yourself because you're going to help me out uh, a little bit here. I'm uh, unmuted. First, all right. First, first of all, tell me a category that uh, we're going to try and find some opportunity in. You know, we've got beauty, we've got health, uh, grocery, kitchen and dining, uh, office products, patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies. What do you want me to search in? Well, I know a lot of people, I've got two options for you. I know a lot of people go for like the standard baby pet toys. I like industrial science and scientific. Okay. I like B2B or I think uh, since we're coming into summertime, patio and lawn and garden. Sure. And so it's up all right. to you. You want me to do all three of those? Yeah, and sports and uh, not pet supplies. Uh, how about sports and not outdoors? Pet supplies. Okay, sports and outdoors. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I actually, I'm going to keep it the two. So, okay. which of these two do you want? I don't want to. Uh, I, I think the related to... ones, sports and outdoors, and patio lawn, lawn and garden, are fairly related. So let's turn off the and we'll do that in another. All right. So yeah, and and, that, and that's the thing, guys. You can do one by one. You could search multiple, but uh, for this one, since we're going to do it fast, I want it to be as focused as possible. All right. Now, uh, one thing I'm going to do is uh, monthly revenue. All right. I'm going to put a minimum here of five thousand. Now, this is just me. You know, you could put any figure in here that you want, but what does it mean when I put five thousand minimum? That means right now I'm looking for a product that is currently selling estimated at least $5,000 monthly, all right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a price range of like 18 to, I'm going to say $26. Now, why did I pick these? Again, this is completely random. Uh, for me, you guys put what works for you. The reason why I'm putting 18 to 26 is for a lot of people who are just new in selling, uh, you might not have that much money to invest. So, if you had like a $75 retail or, you know, something that would cost $75 retail, um, that means that your product cost could be like 15 to 20 bucks or so, right? And then if you have a minimum order quantity of a thousand units from a factory, well, you know, not all of us have, you know, $20,000 or whatever that's going to take to do it. So uh, I'm putting this here between 18 and 26. The reason why I put a minimum is, yeah, you know, you, maybe you can sell $10 items, you know, pretty well on Amazon. But when you think about the 15% Amazon fee, you think about the shipping from your factory to get it to Amazon. You think about the shipping from Amazon to the customer and all the other ins uh, expenses involved and everything. Well, at the end of the day, your profit margins might be a little bit low. So that's just uh, why I'm putting this minimum of 18. But again, you guys put whatever you would want here, whatever works for you. Let's say you do have twenty, thirty thousand dollars to invest. Well, what would I do? I'd probably put a minimum price of like 50 bucks. All right, here be and look for those high, uh, high end, high end products because guess what? For the very reason that we're doing this, that means that maybe I'm going to have some opportunity because not many sellers uh, can afford to invest in a fifty dollar product. All right, so for this exercise, eighteen to twenty six is what I'm putting. Now, um, Barbara, what's what's the last thing that you can remember as a buyer uh, searching for and buying on Amazon? Like, what what did you search for? Pentel pens. I'm an office supply geek, so I bought a pack of 24 colored pens in 0.4 millimeter. I know it's okay. really specific. Did, now, did you search for the brand or did, did you just search for a generic search? I searched for the brand. Because okay, give me something that you didn't search for a brand because uh, I'm very happy that you mentioned that. Um, this is very important for the listeners to hear. In my opinion, there's two kinds of Amazon uh, buyers, all right? There's one who they know what they want. All right. And then they're just going on Amazon to find it so they can get the prime two day shipping. Like you, you knew you wanted Pentel pens. Yes. So instead of going to office Depot, you're just like, Hey, I'm going to look for Pentel pens on Amazon. Um, you probably didn't care too much about the reviews or bullet points or something. Cause you already knew what you wanted. You're just looking for it on Amazon. The sellers that we need to attract, if we're a new private label seller, they don't know our brand from anything. All right. So, it's the kind of, we're looking for the kind of people who just search generic things and they're just kind of open to seeing what else, whatever's out there. All right. So in that, I needed, in that, I needed an, uh, an HD USB camera that we're actually doing this presentation on. Perfect. All right. HD USB camera. Now let's take a look right here at these results. Now, the first thing I want to go over is the review count. So just, um, you know, completely, you know, put yourself, take yourself out of a seller's uh, mindset, Barbara, but as a buyer, if you had something that said, you know, 3,000 reviews, this Logitech one, all right, 2,000 Logitech, and then let's say right below here was this one here, six reviews, uh, you know, this is obviously something completely different, but let's just say it was a product with six reviews. Now, for most buyers, which ones do you think that they would click on? 
most Almost more reviews. Yeah, and why is that? Because it's uh, it's validated. So yeah, validated. exactly. All right. So this for me would uh, be something. So I'm going to put right here a maximum of 60 reviews. All right. So what does that tell me? Number one, um, if I see something that's selling five thousand dollars a month or more. Uh, and has less than 60 reviews, well, to me, that could uh, signify opportunity. Why? Well, if this one, um, if that product was on this page, we know there's no way they're going to sell $5,000 because everybody's going to be clicking on these uh, great reviewed products. So, to me, if I can find a product that's selling at least 5,000 and has less than 60 reviews, well, maybe everybody else has less than 60 reviews and this is just, you know, the best of the best, or maybe this is the only option, all right? Now, taking back this exact example of these three, we've got here, this is like 4.3, almost 4.5 stars. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got a four star, we've got a 4.3 up here. Now again, this one, 3.5 stars or three stars. Regardless of the number of reviews, which one are you more likely to click on? Um, actually, I think that Autoscope one's kind of cool from a, a buyer or a, a private mm -hmm. label standpoint. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble. See, see you're putting your buyer. seller's hat. You're just putting your seller's hat on, but let's I know, put our buyer's yeah, hat on. Cool. So, which one are most buyers psychologically more likely to click on, regardless of the review your, count? Your mouse is right now that Logitech Pro. Yeah, right. Yeah, right there. Look, four point five stars. Okay, so it's just a psychological thing. Hey. Everybody seems to like this product, so it must be good. Um, hmm, like almost half the people don't like this. I don't know about this. You know, right? That that's just the the common psychology. So I'm gonna put something here. I'm gonna put review rating max three point five. All right. And again, this is just giving me another data point that I could be searching for because if you can find something that's selling five thousand dollars a month, but has less than three point five stars. What to you, what might that be an indication to you for? Room for improvement of the product or the listing. Absolutely, room room for improvement. Like if you come in with a five star product, uh, you're instantly better than the three point five star. But for me, it show, it tells me that there might be opportunity because if everybody was five stars in this niche, there is no way that they would be selling five thousand dollars a month because it's just not going to happen. Uh, the other or the other products are going to be getting the sales. Uh, at the same time, it could be that maybe there's no competition. This is the only thing out there that solves this problem, right? This is the only product out there. And so it's like, hey, uh, we have no choice that it has only three stars because I've got no option. So what I'm going to do, the last thing I want to show you guys, um, I'm not sure if there's any on this page. Uh, let me check this one. Okay, perfect, all right. So the reason I picked that one is right here, the number of images. This one, I knew this only had three images, all right? So I'm looking here, three images. Usually this, I mean, these are pretty good images, but usually one, two, or three images it, uh, signifies that probably the listing is not that great. Now, of course, this is Microsoft, so it doesn't matter if the listing is great or not. Most people are just searching for a Microsoft camera. They would still click and buy this. But let's say this was a, a private label brand. Well, for many buyers, three images might not be enough. Like there's no infographics here. It doesn't tell me the features in the images. Um, and then usually when you only have three images, the listing itself is very uh, sparse. And you can see that right here. Look at these bullet points. So like almost non-existent. There's hardly any information here. So that to me signifies that there might be an opportunity. I'm going to put here max number of images three. Uh, and again, if I can find something with only three images that's selling $5,000 a month, well, what if I come in here with a fully optimized listing of seven or eight images right off the bat, I'm more appealing possibly to the customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and search for this. I'm not sure. I mean, this is pretty, pretty narrow. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything, uh, here. Okay. We, we well, wow. We found over uh, 200 products. Uh, one other thing I'm going to put here is I don't, want variations, all right? Uh, just, just for this, I want to see something that's not like, you know, has a red and green and blue. Um, so I'm going to do that filter right there. Let's see if anything still comes up, if we still have over 200. Um, and, and that's up to you guys. Actually, uh, the sports and outdoors category, there's a lot of products that have variations and a lot of people like to sell in those kind of categories. Um, but for me personally, I don't like variations for new, for new uh, sellers because 
that means I have to invest in that much more inventory. You know, I've got to do a red, I've got to do a blue, I've got to do a green, um, or I've got to do different sizes, right? And that's just a little bit too much. So now uh, I found a whole bunch of listings here and I'm just going to look for something that seems interesting that might uh, be an indication that I could sell something here. Now, these are licensed, all right? So if, if you're able to do licensing, this would be a great product to look at, but I am not going to do a license right now. I'm not looking for brand names, all right? So let me see Shakespeare Alpha. I don't think this is a major, major brand. Could be, all right? I'm gonna keep that in mind. Kirkland is a Costco brand. Uh, Celsius Multi 3-Pack tip up with tackle. That's, I have no idea even what that is. And you're going to find that too. It might be for fishing, for angling. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I, might, I might look back at that one. Uh, this is Callaway. I mean, I'm not going to look at that. I know that's a, I know that's a, a brand name here. Um, let's see. Anytime Blades, that walking stick. Oh, the wa Anytime Blades. That look, ooh. What is that walking stick? Anytime Blades. I've never heard of Anytime Blades. Have it you? It looks like it's known. It looks like it's portable. So it, uh, it can be like carry it on the backpack and okay all right let's take a look at some of this information before we go to amazon first of all uh it has uh very few uh, reviews uh, at the at the time that we detected it i'm not sure if it's gotten any since then but look at that monthly revenue estimates around eight thousand dollars a month they're selling about 10 units a day so yeah let's take a look at this all right so here we go. Uh, it matched exactly what I had searched, guys. And can you imagine how long it would take? Yeah, to look at that listing. That's just an Amazon. Look at this listing. Just like she said, this is ugly. One image. If I just saw this, like, I would not know what the heck this is. Like, I, I don't know. Um, I would have to use my imagination. If I didn't see a title or anything, I would have no idea what this is. This image is absolute garbage, all right? And, and then take a look again. As I said, usually if there's really bad images, there's probably a really bad listing and look how terrible this listing is. Like four really small bullet points. Uh, it's only 2.9 stars. There's only four reviews. So it's like, what in the world is going on here? How can this, you know, maybe there was another seller on here and now it's out of stock or, or maybe there's infomercials that, that send people to this product. I don't know, but I'm just curious where are some of the keywords that they might be getting their sales from, okay? So I'm gonna take this and we'll go to the next tool now, all right? So, so far, we have used Blackbox. We have used uh, X-Ray, or we haven't used X-Ray yet. Um, I'm gonna show you X-Ray in a little bit, but now I'm gonna go to the next tool, which is Cerebro. Cerebro is a reverse ASIN tool. What is a reverse ASIN tool? 95% of you might not know what that is. Basically, what that is, is I'm going to paste an ASIN or uh, you know the, the product identifier for Amazon. And I just want to know what kind of keywords that this listing has and how they're performing for these keywords. We can actually show you that right here. Okay, so it's going to pull up probably a list of few hundred keywords, 199, okay? So I am just curious, the keywords that they possibly could be getting their sales from, all right? I'm going to do organic. What does that mean? Um, I'm looking for the words that this pr product is showing up for in the Amazon search results where it's in the top 306 positions. Uh, because again, I'm, we already determined that they have about um, 8,000 sales per month, $8,000 worth of sales. So the question is, what's driving those sales? So I can take a look at that niche more. Now, here is a question for you, uh, Barbara. Yep. Here's a word here, shooting stick. All right. I have no idea what shooting stick is. Uh, it's actually searched for a thousand times a month. All right. That's decent search volume. However, where they show up organically or where this product shows up, if I search for shooting stick, it is organically ranked at 291. That's probably ooh, page 10, maybe page 11 if there's 20 per page. So my question to you, Barbara, is do you think that a big portion of their $8,000 a month sales are coming from this keyword? Uh, I, you know, when I see shooting stick, um, uh -huh. I sell, um, you know, weapon related products. And one mm -hmm. of those things is that stripe stick, that tactical stick that uh, police officers use, right? It's a, and that has nothing to do with the walking stick. Yeah. So but then regardless that. of that, let's say you had no, you, you were, let's say you were me and you don't know what the heck shooting stick is and strike stick. What about just the information we have here? The okay. fact that it's ranked 291, uh, and again, what rank means is if I searched for it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually going to search for it right here, shooting stick, all right? So this is position one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, all right? And I would keep going until the 291st one, which is probably like on page eight to 10. Now, yeah. have you ever bought something on page eight to 10? No, nope. no, nope. nope. Where do you usually buy stuff? Page one. Yeah, I mean, Amer we Americans are pretty, pretty lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I always say this, everybody except my mother. My mother doesn't know how to use Amazon, but if she did, she would probably be the one person who's going to go through like 15 pages of results just to find the best deal. That, that's who my mom is. But my mom is not typical of the average American consumer. Uh, we have little patience. We have little time. So if we don't find something on page one, we're probably not going to get it, right? So again, this is rank 291. So do you think they're getting a lot of sales from being ranked 291 on this keyboard? Yeah. No, probably not. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, put right here, um, I'm going to open this up. I want the uh, rank, uh, to, organic rank to be between one and let's say 25. I want to see, are there any keywords where this is showing up pretty much on page one? All right, so let's take a look. I'm not even sure if there are. I mean, I'm assuming there's got to be if they're selling $8,000 a month. All right, we've got 21 words here. There we go. So now I'm going to sort it by estimated search form. This is a monthly figure. Now take a look at this. Baton, self-defense, all right? Baton, self-defense. This is searched for around 10,000 times a month. And the last time that we checked, they are page one, position one. So now here's my question. Do you think they're getting a lot of sales from this keyword? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this is the one of the first ones that show up. Let's see if it's still uh, there on page one. It's still there. Look, they're, they're still page one, position one. So let's take a look at this keyword here. Interesting. We might have found something here. Uh, uh, we might maybe, uh, I, Barbara, uh, I'm I think already you might on really not publish this video because maybe you're going to go out and source this product. I, right? I've already so, found it. Um, uh, yeah, all right. So here we go. All right. So let's take a look here. Now, this is the third step of what I do. All right. Um, what you need to do is, yes. Okay. Maybe you're better than that product or you can come out with a better product. You can come out with a better listing, right? More images, better bullet points, maybe more keywords, maybe five-star reviews, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, unless you can compete in the niche as a whole. So now we're looking at the niche as a whole because now I, I went to the main keyword. So I'm going to use x-ray. And what X-Ray does is it's going to give me like kind of a snapshot of how people on this first page are performing, all right? So like, can I hang with these guys who are selling on the page one? Because just because one guy has a bad, one guy or gal has a bad listing here doesn't mean that everybody has a bad listing. So let's take a look here and I'm going to show you the things that I'm looking for. The first thing I want to do is I want to look at the sales figures around the top, all right? And I'm looking here and, and the very top ones there's nobody that just jumps out to me like they're just dominating, right? You know, one guy's selling $12,000 a month about, oh, uh, look at the number two. They're only selling $1,000 a month. Here's one that's only selling $2,000 a month, What's right? That Viper Tech down there. Yeah, so like now, now down here, uh, these ones are probably making a lot of their money on other keywords, all right? Because if, if they were making their money off of this keyword, they would have been ranked high. So I like looking at like the top five or six. So, so far, so good. Let me just show you an example of what you wouldn't want to see, all right? And this is the one I always show, collagen peptides, all right? Now take a look at some of these figures once I go here. Once so this, this is the place. Chrome extension that <laughs> is one of the Helium 10 tools. Yes. Okay. Yep. And this is uh, something that you guys can install. If you guys want to check it out for free, uh, you're able to install this extension for free, but it's, it's kind of limited when you use the free version. I highly recommend just, you know, taking it for a spin for a month because some of these columns are hidden and, and your, your, your search results are uh, not complete. All right. Now here's an example of something that is kind of saturated. And again, SP, this means sponsored. So I, I don't care about the sponsor. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this off. Watch, I can do this with Helium 10. I just want to see the organic oh, result. Cool. All right, so I'm going to take this off. So now let's take a look at these top five here. Now look at this. This guy's doing $2 million a month. This guy's doing $2.7 million a month. This is doing three quarters of a million. So can you imagine the kind of sales volume or velocity you would have to have to like kind of keep up with the big, with the big guys here? Yeah. That would be very, very difficult for a brand new seller. So that's why this is what I'm not looking for. Yeah. This, on the other hand, is, is doable. I, I, can, I can sell, you know, five, uh, you know, one unit, you know, one and a half units a day, two units a day. I could sell 10 units a day, you know, if I have a nice listing. What else do I look for? I'm going to look for here 
uh, the star rating. Look at this. Three stars, all right? Zero stars. This is a, must be a brand new product. Uh, this is okay. I mean, again, uh, if everything was like three or zero, that would be a, a no-brainer. Like, oh my God, this is an amazing niche where the competitors are performing badly. But, you know, there's a couple. There's a five star here. There's a four and a half star here. So, uh, this is just kind of like neutral for me. For me, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, yes, I like that the fact that there's not only – there's two out of the top three have three or zero stars. That's kind of promising to me. So yeah, actually, actually this is more on the promising side. Let's look at review count. Look at this. Look at the top ones. Four reviews, one review, zero review. If you have a brand new product, you're going to have zero to five reviews probably, you know, depending on how you get your first reviews. Uh, if, if you saw at the top of this page, zero to five reviews, it goes right along here, all right? It's only once you start getting towards the bottom where you see these ones with 2,700 reviews. But take a look at this. This is not even the same product. So if somebody is searching for a tactical or baton self-defense, they wouldn't even pick this product anyways. So it doesn't matter that they're on page one. This is not your competitor, all right? So, so far, again, this is looking really good to me. Uh, the, last, the last thing I want to look at is the number of images to see what kind of optimization people have. And look at this. One image, two images, one image, two images, four images. Look how many listings there are here that do not really have a, a lot of images. So for me, um, you know, I would have to you know, do a lot deeper dive into the niche as a whole. But just here in 15 minutes on my first try of, of a category I haven't really searched for, I was able to find something that for sure I am going to go look and try to see if, uh, if I could source this, you know, I would look for, you know, what kind of cost could I make it? So I, you know, I see here that people are selling this from like 17 to $25. So I'm going to go to, you know, a Chinese website or an American manufacturer if, if I know one or, or any other country and see, Hey, you know, what can I source this for? And then I'm going to start doing the calculations because from an opportunity standpoint, this is what I call opportunity. This not is not opportunity. Yeah. Item number six on that list. Oops. You know, this one? Sanhang. I'm on their listing now. And um, the billet points are, are terrible. The, um, the title is terrible. They've the, got this is not even FBA. Look at this. They must be out of stock or something. Yeah. Look, there, there's not even a buy box here. They right. don't even have FBA, Amazon Prime on this. And this is like one of the you know top performing ones on page one. So, when you see stuff like this, this is just like, uh, you know, green light or red light, like uh, alert, alert, danger, Will Robinson. There is, there's something, there's a lot of uh, opportunity right here on this page. And this is definitely a niche I am going to um, look at. Okay. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. So, uh, I hope, you know, th this was just a very, uh, you know, brief video, but you yeah, can see, awesome. guys, Thank there is awesome. opportunity. On Amazon, right, Barbara? I mean, yeah, I found fabulous. that in 15 minutes. That was fabulous. Any questions for me so far? Um, I'm sure you guys, uh, your, your brains are going a million miles a minute like mine. But um, from what I saw, we, we saw three different tools. Now, Helium 10 is a suite of tools, okay? So help me understand. We saw, we looked at three different tools in there. Yes. X-ray was the Chrome extension. Yep, exactly. And what were the other two tools? The other two tools was Black Box, which is what, how we originally found that product. It allows us to search for the product. And then we also used Cerebro was the last step because I wanted to see where that product we found, where it's organically ranking it. And I cannot stress how powerful that is because can you, I mean, if I just gave you a listing, like how in the world would you know where they're showing up on page one for? I mean, you would just have to, start randomly searching keywords and then just looking one by one. Okay. Oh, there's that product. They're in position 163. Let me write that down. I mean, it would take you years to do what we just did, uh, you know, in five minutes. And what I like about this is, uh, if you guys have watched any of my videos on bundling, I'm all about doing a ton of research up front before you pr uh, even look Absolutely. at product, um, you know, competitive research, uh, target market research, uh, understanding passions and problems of a target market, et cetera. So these guys have just illustrated it uh, for private label products, which is kind of cool because we didn't talk about that. He, he didn't know that that was my perspective before he gave this presentation. So that kind of validates that um, research of the entire market, yes. keyword, organic, who your competition is, uh, what the listing looks like, researching all of that up front before you go randomly buying a product, I think increases your chances of success as a seller on any platform, but specifically on Amazon.
Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, and for those of you who are in the arbitrage, you know, I know there's a lot of you, um, you probably found that sometime, you know, with Amazon, uh, you know, restrictions and brand gating and, and, and counterfeit claims and left and right, it is getting more difficult to retail arbitrage. You can still do retail arbitrage, but I highly recommend that you kind of, um, leverage, you know, private label to, you know, use what you have made from retail arbitrage and have this to fall back because Amazon can change rules like any day now, like, you know, one day, uh, you guys, you know, might not know this, but it was okay to, to offer free products in exchange for review. And then the next day you couldn't. So like the, the, that was the entire business model of so many sellers. They're like, Hey, I'm just going to pay people to leave me a review. And then in one day that got taken away. It could be that Amazon one day says, Hey, no, unless you're a brand, you cannot sell that product anymore. And then if you only are doing retail arbitrage, uh, or online arbitrage, then your entire business model might be gone. So it's always best to kind of diversify your income streams. Don't stop doing retail arbitrage, but, but start looking at, at, you know, wholesale options, start looking at maybe private label options, and then it's going to protect yourself against the inevitable Amazon change that they always do throughout time. Now, now don't get frustrated if you're still only doing online or, or retail arbitrage, because what you can, you can leverage retail arbitrage. The, the research you're doing in stores right now by scanning Let's say you find a product that fits really well for you. It sells regularly, but you can't find a lot of it because you're running from store to store to store. Each store only has three or four or five items of that SKU, right? Exactly. But after you've tested it with retail arbitrage and it sells consistently and you know that, turn over the box, look at the back, sure. find the supplier, find the wholesale, find the brand owner, right? Yep. Um, and so you can use retail arbitrage as another way to research products, but then you validate it using tools like Helium 10 yes. and all the tools within Helium 10. Yes. Yeah. Even if you're using retail uh, arbitrage, you know, you might not know like, yeah, it's on Amazon. It looks like you can make money, but if it's not, if it's selling one unit a month, well, you're not going to want to buy 40 of those because you're going to have a lot of stock. So you use Helium 10, that x-ray Chrome extension that estimates the number of sales. And that's going to help you have a good idea uh, about how much, it's, how much, uh, how many units you could, you know, um, estimate that you might sell in a month uh, if you had the buy box. Right. So you can use retail arbitrage to launch into wholesale and private label and bundling. Yep, absolutely. Talking about Helium 10, uh, you guys know I like to negotiate um, some kind of spe um, special offers on anything that uh, anybody who comes on to uh, my webinars. So talk to us about what you can offer the Deal Diva followers with Helium 10. All right, well, um, the main one I think that uh, most of your users might like, what we wanted to set up for you is a 50% off the first month, all right? So 50% uh, off the first month, you know, of, of the platinum plan. Uh, it's actually for any of our plans, but I think if you're new, you just need the platinum plan. And that comes out to about, you know, about like $48, $49 for the month. And uh, that's gonna give you, it's gonna give you 30 days of that. Um, and then it'll go to regular price after that, but that's really going to give you an idea of if Helium 10 is right for you uh, to use the full version for a full month. And guess what? At the end of the month, before the 30 days is up, um, you decide, hey, I'm just gonna sell on Etsy or hey, uh, I'm just gonna sell on eBay. I'm not gonna sell on Amazon. Well, obviously you don't need Helium 10. Guess what? You just uh, uh, message Helium 10 before 30 days are up and say, I'd like my money back and to cancel it. And guess what? You get your money back. So it's really risk-free. It's, it's risk-free this deal, uh, but we well, want to give a little bit of found interesting. So for, with this discount at 48 bucks a month, right? Mm -hmm. In 35 minutes, we found at least one product. Yeah. And, and you were busy explaining how the tool worked. Can you imagine yeah. if you knew how to use this tool and you were just scanning through products, how many products you could find. So exactly. here's a little bit, of, I keep looking over here because my other screen is there where I pulled up AliExpress and mm -hmm. Alibaba, I can get that exact walking stick um, e in either chrome or black with the case for $6 and wow. probably less if I negotiated it. it was well, hold on, let me just show you something right here now that you mentioned that. Let me but I just go wanted on. to put it in perspective while you're pulling that up. Yep. I want so, to put this in perspective, guys. One product is gonna pay for that like immediately. Go ahead. All right, so here, you just, uh, uh, this is pulling in the size. It looks like okay. this is so new that uh, Amazon is not even displaying the size. So let me. But the next one over. Pick another uh, one of the these. San, the Sanhang. Uh, let me see. Yeah, most of these we don't have. If it's brand, you see how these are brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon's not displaying the dimensions. But let me just check here if I can find one. I'll just do it with this one. All right. So let's say um, that we know that the dimensions. It's one. Are it's one point five pounds. Yeah, and I would say, what would you say the length would be of this? 
It's uh, the has it as its package. One point five and one point four. So ten point six is the length. Okay. I have the stats over here uh, from the spire. For, for, uh, from Alibaba? <laughs> yeah. 10.6 okay. inches by 1.5 by 1.4. Okay. So and based on that, we can see that. 1.45 shipping. Okay. And then let, th this is just an estimate right here on um, how much it would cost, you know, to, to ship it. Uh, right. You said the actual cost was $6. Yeah. But that was just the first listing I found. No negotiation, no nothing. So uh, let's just say $5. After negotiation, yeah, we can put it down to five bucks, all right? Yeah. And if we're gonna do it for $25, take a look at this. Your profit margins would be $11 per unit. That's it. Look at that, uh, $11 per unit. And uh, you would sell, let's just say you only uh, sell 10 a day, 10 a day. You're making 100 bucks a day on this product that it took you 15 minutes to find. Next. So just like Barbara okay. said, you can see yeah, the here's, here's the next for here's the next thing. So what would you guys bundle with this? I would put a tactical flashlight with this all day long, right? Now you can sell it for $35. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Frequently bought together. Barbara's okay, looking like a genius here. That. that was off the top of my head. Right? Barbara's looking like a genius. Are, are you sure you didn't cheat and look at no, this? No, I didn't. Uh, no, I've got AliExpress up. So um, it's just for me, if I was out hiking and I'm a woman and I'm alone and it's getting dark out, I live in Arizona. There's mountains everywhere. I'm always hiking, right? I'm going to want a flashlight. That was and here's some uh, pepper, uh, red pepper gel. So it's like that mace or, or. restricted. That might be hazmat. So, but yeah. So you could create a bundle and totally dominate. There were no other bundles. Did you guys notice when you searched for that keyword? There were yeah. no bundles. I'm so excited about this product. <laughs> right. Okay. Anyway, so go ahead. I'm, I might beat you guys this. I, I, I'm, I'm on not it. trying to source it. this product, but no, I'm not going to. But, um, and this is not to say that, I mean, this only took us 10 minutes, but yeah. I would want to, you know, be, this is, you know, your, your investment is very valuable. Yep. Yes, we found this in 15 minutes, but I would spend a little bit more time, you know, uh, really validating this using the Helium 10 tools. But this shows you the kind of thing you need to be looking for. Once you start mm -hmm. using Helium 10, how do you find the opportunity you would use those, um, those features that I told you about because this was a perfect example of how it works, all right? We didn't plan this, by the way, guys. I had no we idea what we were going to be This we was fully live. This was totally on the fly. So this yep. is kind of fun that this works out. Right? It's excited. I hope you guys are excited. Guys, this should excite you because uh, a lot of people have been brainwashed saying, oh, yeah, it's too much. It's too saturated. You can't find it. But I hope this excites you that you can see, hey, there still is opportunity on Amazon. Yeah, and then some. So guys, tell us, how can we find Helium Tem? Where can we send them to get a 50% discount off of the first month? So you guys can try it out for 30 days. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, is this going to be up on YouTube or how are you going to, or Facebook uh, or how are you going to publish? Facebook. So it's, I'm going to make access to uh, all my followers for this video. Okay. So basically, wherever you're seeing this video, uh, what Barbara's going to do on the bottom is going to have a link. All right. She's going to give you a link that you can click on. And then uh, she'll also repeat the coupon down there, which is, uh, um, what's that coupon? I didn't say the coupon, did Deal I? Deal Diva 50. Deal Diva 50. D-E-A-L-D-I-V-A -D -D 50. No spaces, okay. all capitals. And then put that I'll in. Put that, and I'll put that in the comments. I'll perfect. put that down in the description of wherever you're seeing this video. Uh, and there's no cutoff point. Okay. So this isn't a temporary, right? Correct. So whenever they see this is training video, wherever yep. they see it, you guys get 50% off the first month. Now, do they get access to all of those different tools in here? Everything. Everything that we used okay. and plus uh, oh, yeah. 17 and more tools that we didn't even go over. You mentioned something before we got, I, I hit the record button. Uh, there were a lot of tools. I saw that dashboard and I was yes. like, uh, so switch over to that dashboard. Sure. Um, here's how you, and we don't want you to get confused in that dashboard because Helium 10 does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but you don't have to start with all the cool stuff, right? So, yeah. So, so in each tool here. What happens? How do we know what to use? Every single tool. If I click in Cerebro, if I click in Trendsurf, if I click in Magnet, there's this blue big button right here that says learn. All right. So okay. uh, once you're like, let's say you want to start uh, um, researching a product, you're going to start with black box. Let's say you already have a product. You just need to do keyword research. You'll start with Cerebro. But whatever tool that you're in, you're going to hit learn. All right. And what you have here. Oh, is wonderful. tons of detailed videos about like, okay, what does, what does each of these filters mean? You know, uh, what's an overview? How do I find products to sell on Amazon? Uh, what are some filters that I can use? It just gives you a really detailed overview of uh, how to use each of these because uh, if awesome. you just try and do that on your own, you're going to be overwhelmed. Like, look at all these filters. What does this mean? Yeah. What does this mean? Well, 
don't guess. Just hit this learn button. Yeah, that did happen to me the first time I logged yeah. in. I was like, I have no idea how to use anything. Uh, so thank you for telling me about that learn button because it made it a whole lot easier just to uh, figure out what tools to use right away for me to get started. So exactly. guys, uh, go ahead and go to helium10.com, right? Yep, they can do that too. Sign up for your first month, 50% off using the code DEALDIVA50. Um, but I'm going to drop a link into the, uh, into the comments there so that uh, when you click on that link, that is an affiliate link, of course, but um, you know I'm here to support you guys. Whatever I bring to you and promote um, as, uh, as the Deal Diva, you know that uh, I'm behind it and that I've used it or am going to use it. And then I'm, uh, clearly, you know, uh, this is a powerful tool and I'm excited about it too. So I'm going to get in there and play around even more. So I'm here to support you too. If you have any questions, reach out to me on facebook.com slash groups slash deal diva. Again, I'm Barbara Drazga and this is Bradley Sutton, the, I love the success manager of Helium 10. If, if they have any questions, can they reach out to you? Uh, yeah. Um, the best way to reach me is we have a uh, Helium 10 users Facebook group. So they can just tag me there. Um, if they have a question about using Helium 10, I'm, I'm very active there. Uh, okay. So, you know, don't send me a, a Facebook message because it all goes to my junk. It all goes to like a spam folder. So uh, anything that I'm tagged in, um, I'll, I'll reply. I'll put that link down in the description or the comments cool. as well of how to, how to join that user group after you get started. And I'm sure you give them instructions when they first uh, register yes. for Helium 10 to, uh, to join that group. And again, I'm here to support you so you can reach out to me anytime on Facebook, Barbara Drazga. And I'm happy to help you. So thank you very much for being on today. I know you're a busy guy. So this was a, a real treat that you were able to play, play in my sandbox today. All right. Well, thank you very much for having me. And maybe uh, we'll come back later and, and go over another aspect of, of the Amazon journey. This was just finding a product, but there are so many other uh, parts of selling on Amazon that need to be talked about. We can do another mini workshop. Possibly. I love it. Thank you so much, Bradley. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.